Doug Weary. Today we're going to continue our series of videos to help with your home program and other programs in the fitness facility. We're going to take a look at the three areas of dysfunction um, and some self-tests that you can do for those dysfunctions. So first we're going to take a look at mid-back and neck and the movement of our shoulder blades, we call them sh shoulder girdles, and if we have an imbalance with our front and our back, if one side's tight and the back side is usually weak, we're gonna give you a few exercises to help you with that problem. So the first is thumbs down, they go right next to your temple, touch your elbows in front, and squeeze your shoulder blades and try to touch your elbows behind you. If you're limited, what you want to start doing is three times a day is try to touch and work your way back. The goal is being able to touch your elbows, squeeze them back to start restoring that mobility, flexibility, and not only your chest, but your mid back. So that would be your first one. Your second one is you would be against the wall, put your feet approximately two and a half to three feet out, Take your lower back, flatten it out. Take your head, flatten it out. You wanna have very little space in your neck, so you're trying to bring your chin in. And what we're now gonna look at is mid back and lats, right? And we should be able to take our hands and touch our elbows to the wall, keeping our lower back flat and our neck completely flat against the wall. So people with bad posture, they're gonna have a hard time getting their head against the wall. So what we wanna do is use the wall and we could do corrective exercises there, 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 and there to restore. And from a neck standpoint, out and in to start restoring mid back lats, again, tying into the neck. So that's exercise number two. Third exercise, these are all great things for golf. Third exercise is done on the ground. And what we wanna do is sit and it's a Z stretch. And we're taking a look at internal external rotators of the hip. So if you have hip or back issues, what we wanna do is you can see the Z formed in my legs, right? And you wanna be able to sit with both glutes on the ground. People with real dysfunction, we'll see one hip higher. So the goal is to be able to sit. You could actually do this exercise even if you have one side tighter than the other, you could actually push yourself up. You want yourself sitting up, both hips down, and you want to test both sides. And you could simply sit in front of the TV and do this exercise at home. Sit and if one side's tighter, you want to push yourself up and you should feel a stretch in your hips to start restoring movement of the pelvic girdle. Very important in your golf swing, very important to prevent hip problems, very important quality of life. Have a good day.